They are the stuff of legends and fairy tales. They have been written about, sung about, and immortalized in art and film. There is no doubt the little bluebird is a very special animal. Mr. Bluebird's on my shoulder. It's the truth. It's actual. Everything is sad. It's this iconic symbol of happiness that everybody knows about. And when people see them, they're usually pretty struck just by the vibrant color. These Gary Oak trees once provided homes for lots of the blue feathered creatures. Populations began declining in the 1950s and by the 1990s the once prevalent bluebird vanished from Vancouver Island. We think that the bluebirds left because of competition from non-native species like starlings, loss of cavities and people just taking down their habitat, basically oaks and so forth. A group of Canadian and American scientists and supporters are working to reintroduce the bird in the Cowichan Valley. Gary Slater is from the Eco Studies Institute in the U.S., an organization that was successful in bluebird reintroduction in Washington State. He's now working with Canadian groups on a five-year plan to bring them back to Vancouver Island. I'm involved with capturing the birds, bringing them up here. We design the aviaries. We monitor how the aviaries are set up, how they're fed and then we'll release them. So we've released one pair uh, the other day and we'll release another pair this afternoon. Bird reintroduction and release is a very delicate and costly matter. About $5,000 goes into bringing each pair of birds across the border. In order to become acclimated to the new environment, they live in this aviary in a protected Gary Oak forest about one to three weeks before they're set free. So they can, they can see out, all the front is all hardware cloth. Inside is a nest box. We provide a nest box for them to roost in. We also hope that they may start uh, exhibiting some breeding behavior. Nest boxes have been placed around the area in hopes that when these birds are set free today, they will stay and produce young, unlike a pair released a few days before, which disappeared. You're just, you're letting them go free and that's the kind of the rush of watching them leave and then hoping that they stay and nest nearby. The time comes late afternoon on a warm spring day. Ideal conditions to keep the birds as calm as possible. The door of the aviary is open. Gary holds his breath, first one, then the other, flying to a nest box about 30 meters away. Success in the early stages of reintroducing this beloved species. Our hope would be that the, the birds that we release establish nesting territories and lay eggs and, and raise young little bluebirds. Seeing that the birds for now seem happy is an important first step, but there are many challenges still to come. The team hopes that the birds will stay for the summer and beyond. They're migratory birds, so they, go, they fly south for the winter, not so far, just to California and Oregon. These birds are two of 90 that will be released over the next five years. You can get more information by checking their website at goert.ca. In Maple Bay for Shaw TV, I'm Terry Church.